Good morning. Today's juice is, well, almost was, is celery, apple, and ginger. Really good. I need to pick me up. I'm so sleepy. And then today's coffee is, which one is this? This one is this blue one. Oh, I forget which one this one, but it's the blue one. And the creamer is the almond milk, peppermint, whatever flavor I showed y'all the other day. And then not even a whole pump, so a half a pump, which is a half a tablespoon of caramel fudge. <laughs> if you're chilling, sitting around the house, you don't really want to watch TV, you just want to enjoy the ambience of Christmas, I found a couple of channels on YouTube um, that I think are very interesting, and I'm going to show them to you. So I get asked a lot of times on my vlogs, you know, what is that on your TV? And it is the Calm Station. And um, they just have so many different videos. But sometimes I play this at night in my bedroom. And then, of course, I have like the Christmas tree lit. It's just the whole ambience of, ambience, ambience of everything. It's just very relaxing and soothing. And I've just been playing it like on a TV downstairs. And I've been doing this for a long time. It's either Dr. Sachs Love right here. Hold on, let me put them back up, y'all. Dr. Sachs Love right here. And it has all these Jazz Night really good. Um, come on, y'all. See, like here, you can do like date night. They have smooth jazz. Fireplace, Smooth Jazz. They have um, November Morning, which is a really good one, too. So, right, so your, your Cozy Corner is a really, really good channel. If you wanted to sit and chill and relax and not do, um, like, TV movies or anything, this channel right here is one of my favorite, and it is Cozy Corner, Cozy Corner of Ambiance. And it displays like different ambiances and music. So like they have Christmas jazz, working coffee. Um, what was I listening to this morning? This morning I was listening to the uh, rainy day at Cozy Coffee Shop. Uh, when I woke up this morning, it's just very relaxing. Um, what's another one we had planned? The Christmas one. Okay, so this one, this one is a really good one too. If you're into the ASMR sounds and you want to hear the sound of outdoors, like the wind, the leaves, birds, and stuff like that, this is a really good one. And this is the ambiance, um, cozy corner, and it is outdoor coffee shop. You can hear people talking, that kind of thing. So for people who like that kind of thing, I prefer music. Um, for the most part, the main thing I do is leave like the fireplace on. I leave it on in my bedroom as well because that's like the ambiance of it, like with the Christmas tree and all that. So, yeah. All right, so I have made it upstairs and I'm about to fold my towels because the kids tried to help me and of course they didn't fold them how I fold them. <laughs> but anyway, um, so... I hope you all are doing good. I am um, about to clean up my bathroom just a little bit in this one little area to organize a few things because actually I'm about to run to the grocery store and pick up some fruits and veggies for juicing again um, for the next couple of days. And I want to get um, some body wash and stuff like that. So kind of want to go through what, what we already have and clean up my shelf. So I'm giving myself... Um, 20 minutes to fold these towels, clean up my shelf. My blanket is in the washroom. For those who've been around a while, you know I have a shelf in my bathroom here. This little shelf from Ikea. I will link it down below um, because I don't have a um, like a linen closet in here. So I utilize this for my shelf and sometimes it gets messy because it's an open shelf. Um, the rest of the towels are in the washer because normally this is full. I actually have two, three, four... Yeah, so I'm probably missing uh, like five towels, but um, normally this is full, but they're just been washed and one was, two was used yesterday, <laughs> okay? So um, I normally keep my little towels here, big towels up top, and all of this is kind of like a 
Mod Podge of Mess here. And I'm going to go through and clean up real quick. All right, so since y'all like these chill videos, we're just going to go through and trash a few things. Just clean up a little bit. Like I said, I'm giving myself 20 minutes. Um, this frankincense, if you've been rocking with me for a while, you know I keep these oils here from my um, bathtub. I like to put oils in the tub. I bathe every night, like every night in the tub. I love the tub. Um, if I feel like I'm dirty, I'll hop up and get in the shower, okay? But for the most part, yeah. So I'm just going to clear this shit up off and then um, put my um, bath salts here. And then like the stuff I like to bathe with, like the bubble bath, shower gels or whatever. Okay, so here are the jars that are empty that I was not using anymore in the uh, kitchen. These are those jars I tell you you can get from Amazon. I got some from Target and some from Ross, uh, but I see them on Amazon all the time. I love these jars. They're just so cute and simple, and they just remind me of um, like kitchen things like nuts, flowers, that, that kind of stuff, or just like real nice spa like items like for bath sauce and stuff like that so i have a few bath sauce so i'm just gonna try to fill up each one i have this one i got from tj maxx relax mom this one smells really good it's a lavender one i need to find the scoopers i used to have a lot of scoopers they're probably around here somewhere i can get them from dollar tree but i would love to fill these up you know it's aesthetically pleasing but at the same time it's functional i'm going to use it this is one of my favorite, the Shea Butter Almond Oil one. If you're not going out in stores or if you can't because your city's shut down, um, they have these on Amazon. I get mine from an HEB. I know Walgreens and stuff have them, but I normally get them at HEB and they put them on sale. This is one of my favorite ones. This one smells so good. And I use these all the time. I run through these bags. I run through like a bag a week. Because <laughs> I use them. I like relaxing. And then this one is Soothe and Sleep. And this is one of my favorite ones too. This is another lavender one. So I might just put that one in with this one. And then get a different fragrance for the third jar today. When I hit up the grocery store. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells so freaking good. Alright, yeah. So I put the rest of this in one of these containers out here. And they do have this right here, so it's going to suction. You don't have to worry about like the humidity or anything like that in your shower, um, messing up your your salts or whatever you want to use them for. So I need to get some more white towels. Y'all know we always buy white towels. And actually, I need to buy the make, makeup eraser to take makeup off and stop using my white towels. Um, that's on my list to do. All right, what else do I want to put up here? So I think I'm going to put like, um, maybe, um, what's next to towels? Do I want to do soaps? Do I, do I want to do it like this instead? I think I want to do it like that. And then I'll put like my bath soaps that I like. Um, or maybe bath lotions. Maybe that's what I do. All right, so y'all know I like to make my own lotions and potions and whatnot. So I had this little tray here. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can squeeze this tray on here and organize my stuff. So I have these little jars right here and I get them from Amazon and I make my own fragrance like um, body butters and cream. So it's just shea butter, vitamin E, probably almond oil and then whatever oil I order fragrance oil like this one's by the fireside and it is a um it's well I would say dupe <laughs> it's definitely a dupe like it's spot on um from Mason Margiela and I get my oils from fragrantbodyoils.com and I make my own little jars so I have several of these and some of them are actually empty so I need to go through and refill them or buy more oils and i just take the label off and replace this is lazy sunday morning which is another mason margella replica fragrance this one is actually empty i think this is just regular this one was just regular look at this it's empty child I, I use these every night i love to have a moisturized body 
This is one of my favorites. I've gone through both, I think two of them now. This is my third one, last one. I don't even think this is in stores anymore. Coconut, coconut milk moisture mix mist from Bath and Body Works. I love that stuff. That stuff is good, y'all. Oh, I love it. Remember, at first I didn't like it. This one is Adventist. It is a Adventist Creed um, oil mixed with almond oil. This smells so good. I don't have any more Creed. So I'm just going to leave this one until it's empty. <sighs> until it's empty. And then once it's empty, I'll wash the bottle and refill it. And it just has this little pop top. And it's really good to put on straight out the tub or at the shower without drying off. Um, there's another one though. So right here somewhere that has the chocolate in it. Let me find it. Hmm. That's too pink. I thought this was going to be a nude. This is um, one of those Marc Jacobs fragrance. Uh, look at this. Okay, hold on. Down. I thought that was going to be a nude, but it's not. <laughs> All right. She'll look pink. Oh, well. Mm. You got to tone that down or something. Hold on. All right, well, this is going to be pink, all right? All right, so I did find the chocolate one. And this one, I could just take the label off because I, I, it's always the same. This is Choco Musk. And I told you all to, I don't broke the top off of it and everything. Oh, my goodness, it's so oily. Hold on. It had fallen down, so. All right, so Choco Musk. All over my hands. I told you all to order these. You can order the spray, all the oils. You can get two in the pack for like $10, $11. I don't know. The spray is like 12 but this is the oil itself. This is the oil. And what I do is I just take the top off. Mm. It's almost like chocolate. Like literally open, fresh box of Cocoa Puffs. I'm going to pop this off. And we're just going to pour this right into our bottle. Just take this little piece out right here. Just like this. That's all. And we're going to make this last long. Because we want this all over body oil. So I have my container. I have my sweet almond oil, which I absolutely love for my skin. Love it, love it, love it. I mean, love it. I'm just going to pour that in here. Cause you don't need a lot when you got shower. You really don't. So I'm just gonna pour it like this much, about halfway, and I'm gonna add my oil. Oh my god, this smells so good. So I'm just gonna let the rest drip for a while while we finish cleaning up like this tray. Girl, we're gonna be smelling delicious. We're gonna be smelling like chocolate, fresh out the tub. All right. So next, um. I am going to place the order probably tomorrow. Oh, this is um, bouquet. Yeah, this is blooming bouquet. I'm going to place it. Look, this is how much I like this one. <laughs> I'm going to place the order for some more um, oils, some more of those fragrance oils, and then we'll make some more butters and stuff together. I don't know if y'all have seen that video. I will link the video down below of how I make the butters. And the oils, if you're interested, it's very inexpensive. It's good for your skin. These body oils don't have like all those um, added extra stuff like alcohol, or whatever. So, girl, you're going to be moisturized, like literally moisturized. All right. So, now I do have a spray here and it's empty. Um, so, I don't know what I'm going to put in here, but I'm just going to put this back over here. It had rose water. A friend of mine made some rose water and I had a spray here and I would miss my face if it was hot in the tub. Yeah, that kind of thing. All right, so then I have one for my feet. So sometimes, especially in the winter, and we talked about this on the live about the exfoliating your feet with the feet peel pads. You can go online on Amazon and search um, tea tree foot peel pads. They're great. They'll peel up all that dead skin, and then you go back and you add your um, your cream. So this is shea butter. I just made another one. This is shea butter, peppermint oil, and cocoa butter. Um, 
comes from sock song girl you got new feet okay so i put that in here as well um which one is this Ooh, silk mood one of my favorites i wish i could afford the fragrance but i mean i could pay for the fragrance but girl it's a whole car note <laughs> so i like this one i'm just gonna buy more oils and make more butters this week and that's pretty much it for that little tray right i had this one that had lotion in it it's not that much left so i just need to get some more lotion to put in here actually i do have lotion i'm gonna go ahead and transfer this lotion into here that way i can have this pump sitting here instead of this big huge one and um whatever's left halfway i'm let the kids have it because the girls are always running out of lotion we are lotion body cream oil people here we i make sure we keep our skin moisturized and teach my kids to do the same this is hemp butter um so i'll pour this one in. Oh, this smells so good it smells so good and creamy and sweet what is that it says paraben free gluten free sulfate free and phthalate free so i get this one from tj maxx it's the second time i bought this bottle i'm gonna keep squirting it in here but i want to show you the oils i get from um the fragrant body oils i shared before this is what it looks like this one is actually um unknown pleasures which is a fragrance inspired by kerosene girl this is like a lemon custard pie, okay? I've used this whole, this thing is empty. I've used this whole thing and the rest was in a body cream, gone. Oh my God, this is amazing. So I can throw this one away. I hate to throw these little glass jars away. Um, This is another good one too. This is one I actually made. And this is um like eucalyptus or something. Let me put this up here because there's something left in there. But, all right, so this one's pretty much done uh, with the oil in here. So I'm just going to put the top on it. And this is the one that's the Choco Musk. So the kids have one. There's probably empty. I don't know why you lie. I know theirs is empty. Uh, but this right here smells delicious, and it's so good for your skin. Like, who don't want their skin to be, like, all moisturized and, and like, shiny? Listen, all the soap and hand sanitizer we're using, that's perfect for that. All right. So recently, I did go to uh, Bath and Body Works. I told y'all on the live, and I picked up some Bath and Body Works, um, the Apothecary line, and this is Rose and Lavender, and this is the cream, the body cream, and this is the body wash. So I'm just going to stick this one here, and I'll probably stick this over here in the tub somewhere. Um, I already had this one, and this one's pretty good. I like it. This is uh, sweet, too, but this is hibiscus and ylang, -ylang. So um, I'll add this one here. This one I didn't like too much, and this is the Serenity, and this was Marigold Rose and Magnolia. It's more of a spring scent, but the girls like it, so I'm going to give it to them. So I'm going to put this to the side for them. And that's pretty much it for, um, oh, what else is down here? For like bath stuff, I think, that I actually really am using. I don't think I'm really using too much of this other stuff, to be honest. Um, I am using these deodorants. I like this one best. This is the Dove 0% um, Aluminum. I like this one best. I've been really enjoying this one. I shared this with you all before. Um, I ordered a bunch of them off of Amazon, the pack, but, um, yeah. And then this is the Jason aloe vera one. Um, is it almost gone? I think it's almost gone. I'm just going to sit it up here anyway to make myself use the rest of it. And I'm done with this little shelf right here. So, this is that little shelf right there. Done with that one. Let's work on the one underneath it here. And this one is a hot mess. It's a hot mess, but it's all good. Oh, this thing is dusty. Like, what the what? Oh. All right. All right, so I do have this one little basket I keep in here. And this basket actually has a jar in here full of bath bombs. And soaps, it looks like. <laughs> Why is there soap in here? I don't know. Oh, I know. The kids had opened up all these boxes of soap one time. I know. Never mind. I'm just going to put it here. This is all my little bath bombs. 
We have, um, what else can go up here? I do have this one basket. I actually have two baskets and I'm gonna just empty them out. They just have stuff like flowers. These little jars that used to have bath salts in them. I'll probably put some more in them and throw them in the girls' room. This is old body, body deodorant. All right, get your life, girl. <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna put extra body wash stuff in here. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. This is Christopher. Uh oh, it's trash now. So I think I'm just gonna put that in here. Let me grab the other one. All right, so. All right, so for me, I make my bath time, my me time, and a whole experience between like the body washes, the bath soaps, the lotions and oils I put on, and um, and candles, <laughs> like the whole experience because you know I feel like that's my my me time. That's the time I get to spend with myself by myself. I actually have this stand that goes in here too. If I can find it, I'll bring it. It's somewhere around here, and I can set my phone on it and um, watch TV, watch YouTube, listen to music, whatever I want while I'm just chilling in the tub. So that's this right here. Um, I have like these little packets and this extra stuff, like all this kind of extra stuff. I'm just gonna put in this one. And these are like morning masks, copy body scrubs, that kind of stuff. It's gonna kind of Tuck that away in here. I have um, these are actually my all these body washes that I don't use all the time, but I'm not tossing them. I'm gonna go in here. I have um, this one. I'm really, really enjoying. This is a velvet skin body wash, purple rice water from Shea Moisture. I'm really enjoying this one. This is easy reach. I can just grab, you know, if I want to for the tub. This actually has a top. This is shaving cream. And yeah, I did also pick up this one, the Hot Springs Spa one. I really, really like this. Really like this, which I'll probably put on my tub. And then this one I haven't opened yet. And this is the sweet one. This is lavender and something, chamomile, I think. Um, body scrub. So I can put that in here too. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the bath area. I do have this little um, tray here. And what I, it has like this little thing. I normally keep with oils in it for the tub. It's empty. I need to refill it. But this thing right here, um, sometimes I'll go to get into the tub and I'll forget to take my jewelry off or something. So I kind of set it in here. But they, it does have some matches in here for like my candles. I'm going to set that right back over there. I had this one in here with oils. I won't refill this one. This is so cute though. I don't normally keep oils in here. But I will go ahead and refill this one. Because it has this little top. I like the little stopper top. And we will refill that one. And we will pick an oil. Which will probably just be like a lavender and rosemary oil. And um, just pour a little bit in the tub. That's all I do. Just pour a little bit in the, in the tub. And I only buy these almond oils for our skin anyway, skin and hair. And I don't know how much these are. They, I mean, like maybe eight, nine dollars, y'all. But they are so worth it. You don't need like a tablespoon of oil in your tub. And um, with your essential oils or whatever, you don't need a lot. Um. So I have eucalyptus, I don't even know what's in here. I have rosemary, headache blend. I don't even think I have lavender right now. Oh wow. So, oh man. Well, this is downstairs by one of the kids' rooms. I'm gonna do rosemary. It might be in one of the kids' rooms. But, um,. I need a few drops of this. I'm gonna pop the top off because I think there's probably not in here anyway. I don't know if there's anything in here. That's all I need for this. It's pretty strong. Rosemary. Um, I normally use this for my hair, but it's great for your skin. And I'm gonna add orange to this one instead of just using the rosemary and lavender. Or rosemary, orange, and cedarwood. I think that'd be a good combo. Cedarwood is pretty grounding. 
Yeah, I think so. So, do you put um, oils in your tub? If you do, what oils do you use? I like the sleep time oil, lavender, and then just the different combinations. I'm gonna leave this off because this is no good anyway. Oh, this orange smells amazing. And then I buy essential oil sometime online. I can't think of the name of the company. I think it's Models One uh, from Amazon. I should have a link in my store. And then I buy them from, um, you know, TJ Maxx. And yeah, see, I knew it wasn't holding nothing in here because I use the orange oil all the time. <laughs> all right, so that's trash. That'll be on my list to get when I see stuff on sale at TJ Maxx. But these are really good to put in your tub. Just a few drops for sure. I have these and um, they're probably just going to the girls' bathroom. This is Boardwalk. As you see, I barely use this one. Um, I do like the Lily and Green Tea, which I could probably hold on to to next spring or, you know, warmer days. But I do like the smell of it. It just doesn't really wow me. Um, it just doesn't. But I'm going to get this to the girls, too, to go along with that lotion. And then we have more soaps in here. This is probably going to trash. Uh, very sexy Victoria's Secrets. I'm not wearing it. Um, I don't really like their lotions <laughs> at all. Another foot scrubber thingamajig. Here is some bath salts I made that I use. You can tell the drawer is going down so. Um, I use these for uh, when I want like an herbal soak. And here is the little peach one from when I bought them a ton of these. I'll give them the rest of this one. This is beach. This one actually smells really good. Y'all, I like this. It's not the season for it right now, but I like it. So I'll keep it. And just some razors and stuff. Another one of these masks. Y'all know I'm addicted to face masks, honey. I'm going to wear those for sure. All right, so let me figure this out. Put my roses over just a little bit. I can fit this way, right? Actually, it would fit this way. Huh. Didn't realize that. I may do that. And so I have this jar that we used to keep all our shea butter soaps in it. Um, I think I'm just going to put them in like a plastic bag and get rid of the, um, having a jar in my bathroom. Put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in a cabinet downstairs where we keep all our soaps and stuff. And that way they can grab for it. <clears throat> I used to use this one for my face and I don't anymore. So I have several bars like that. So I'll probably put one on the counter for the girls in their bathroom. And then the, these rest of these soaps that I have in here. Like the ones I showed you that were open. I don't know why they open all these boxes of soap and they're not even using them. I'll just go ahead and put them in zip blocks. All right, so when it's extremely hot outside and I've been working in the garden or the yard, the first thing I bathe with most of the time is a zest bar. Y'all, this smells so refreshing and I feel clean. I feel dry, but I feel clean. Then I go back behind with like a natural something moisturizing, like body good wash or whatever but when it's hot i'm telling y'all these these are like my favorite um this one got what you call that bath bomb stuff on it. but i'm gonna put that in the back in a jar and just put that up in the cabinet downstairs all right so this bin just houses my sheets which i have some sheets washing right now so i'm gonna leave this bin alone this one's empty now i don't know exactly what i'm gonna put in her I'm sure it's something over here. Oh, this is the one that I always keep toilet paper. Y'all always say, cover your toilet paper. Girl, nobody here but me. It is not going to get wet or anything. I just take a bath of me. So I normally fill up this bin with toilet paper. So I'm going to put this back in here. Um, yeah, each bathroom has a bin of toilet paper. So we're not going up and down the stairs for toilet paper. It makes absolutely no sense to do that. And that's it. That's all I have, y'all. I'm probably going to end up throwing this one away because I usually keep it on the side of the tub, but it's rusting real bad and everything, so I'm probably going to get rid of this one. I don't want to deal with that. I keep um, <laughs> I keep this little thing in here. Normally, it's a camera in here, but I also keep a, um, what do you call this? The little coaster for like when I'm drinking wine. Your girl, 
a whole experience. Wine on the side of the tub. Whole experience. Like, I'm not playing. It's my meat time. For real. Alright, I'm going to clean that off because it has burnt stuff on it because I was burning sage in here the other night. I was burning sage, smudging. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back where it belongs, which is on the side of my tub. You call it um, bubble baths in here. It's empty. So as usual, I just find something that's on sale. It smells good. Like a something that doesn't smell too strong when it comes to body um, bath bubbles because I like my own scents when I got the tub. This one is lime and coconut. It was on clearance, y'all, at TJ Maxx recently for like nothing. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill up this with what's in here. And then that way I can have something to pour in the tub when I am making my bubble bath. That's what I'm going to do. This little jar came from Target a while back, a couple years ago. I've been using it for years. I think it's in the section for like wine or something. I see it all the time. So, all right, so this is it. This is my little shelving unit I have in my bathroom currently. Um, you've all seen this before, my little organizer me with this little shelf. And I also did a video on small spaces. When you have a small bathroom space or somewhere that doesn't have like um, a linen closet, you can get these shelves in one where it's just one shelf or you can get the double shelf. And I have a double shelf here. That's a better view right there. Just simple, nothing over the top. Things are in baskets so you don't see everything. And the things that you see are things that I actually really use um, daily. Um, I just set an extra candle here. I guess I could put it in the basket. Um, but yeah, that is everything. I would like more bath bombs. Maybe I'll be for Christmas. Then all my soaps, lotions and things, toilet paper, sheets, and then uh, my basket here for dirty towels. So that is my little area. So, you know, I don't spend a lot of money when it comes to like organization things. I used to get a lot of stuff from Dollar Tree, but I realized they didn't last long when I did that. So these baskets normally come from like Ross or TJ Maxx and it's going to be under $8, I'm sure. Like this basket could have been more than 12 bucks for this basket. I've been using it for so long for my towels. And I like the fact that it's open weave. So when you throw wet towels in there and stuff, they're not like in a plastic container or something that's closed where they would have that smell. I mean, I wash every two, three days anyway. <laughs> but um, I like the open space of it. So there's my soap right there ready to go for my bath tonight. My artificial roses that were once in my bedroom. I took the white ones out of here and just threw them in here uh, with some candles. And then on this side, there's nothing. And then behind me is my coaster for my wine. I think I'm going to build me a little wooden um, um, tray here. I think I'm going to build that for myself. And I might build a couple of them for Christmas. I'm not sure. Um, and stay in them. Somewhere I can put a book or a tablet. Um, a little cutout for a wine glass or something. Um, I might just build one. I don't want to buy one. I know I know. I want to use my hands and do it. So if I do, I'll come back and show you all. But yeah, this is my little space in my little favorite corner of my home. I know a lot of you think I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, and I do, but I spend a lot of time right here in this here tub next to this thing, and I have to look at it every night. So it feels good to have it like cleaned up a little bit where I can see everything, and it's everything I want and need, so I don't even need any more body wash, although Olay came out with this new um, line with these fragrances that I want to try. That's why I wanted to see what I had first. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't go overboard when I go to the store in a few minutes. And we'll come back and do a haul separate on that if I want to see it. Maybe I'll go live tonight and we can talk about it. But um, yeah, this is my little organized space. So if you're one of those people who are not ready to decorate for the holidays like Christmas and you're still getting ready for Thanksgiving, possibly company, um, <laughs> yeah. Be safe, girl. But um, we won't be doing anything like that. It'll definitely just be us. We'll try to keep it small because, um, you know, COVID is real and people are dying daily. Um, however, um, if you are one of those people and you're preparing to have like a few people over, you know, or whatever, and um, you don't want them going through your linen closets and all that kind of stuff, grab one of those baskets like from Ross or something. Toss in like some body wash, a few towels, um, a lotion or something, a candy bar. 
you know, if you have like an open space, that'd be cool. Or just, you know, clean up your area, your space and, and prepare for company. And so like that would be a perfect example. If I had company come over, that would be like they could see everything. They don't have to go dig and look for anything. Those little shelves are perfect, y'all. I actually have a small one um, in Tara's room, but she's online with school, so I won't disturb her. But those small, skinny ones, mm, so I know they're more than 12 inches. So they got to be like 14 inches wide or something, but it's wide enough to have like, you know, they come in black and white, I believe. You can spray paint them any color you want. I've seen them in gold. I've seen people spray paint them silver. I just put them in like a small corner and have like a little small space for like organizing, like stuff like that, bath stuff. Or if you're prepping and you want, well, I wouldn't say prepping because that's glass. It's definitely good for bathrooms, bedrooms, that kind of stuff. Um, Because I used to have books on mine and I took them off because the books for me were too heavy and I didn't like the open spaces around it. <laughs> but I do like it for bathrooms. So yeah, I hope I encourage someone to get up and clean a small space today. I just want to do something different, break up the holiday a um, little thing of my jigs, but we are decorating trees today in Christopher's room and in I think in Tara's. So you'll probably see that tomorrow. So I hope you have an amazing day. This is a long vlog, but I gotta get dressed and head out to H E B. Um, cause H E B and all these, cause we need fruits and veggies, and um, and I want that body wash, girl. I want to try it. I mean. Psh that might be something I buy for gifts to throw in the basket. I want to see what it smells like at least. And um, yeah, see you on the next one. Peace and blessings.